It's an honor to introduce my constituent today, uh, Mr. Brian Adolph Grantaire, uh, President of HIT Consulting Services and Application Solutions of Westchester, Pennsylvania. HIT is a small business, Madam uh, Chair, dedicated to helping the healthcare community reduce cost and medical, medical errors, improving patient outcomes through technology. In 2008, HIT was ranked 21st on the Philadelphia 100, the list of the 100 fastest growing privately held companies in the greater Philadelphia region. When Mr. Bedolf Grantaire contact, contacted my office in March of 2009, HIT had 25 employees and was looking for additional capital to help launch two new healthcare information technology software programs. With the tightening of the credit market, especially to small businesses, he was faced with a difficult choice of either laying off eight to 10 employees or dipping into his personal savings to avoid any job cuts. My office connected Mr. Bedolf Grantaire with the Small Business Administration's Philadelphia Regional Office, which provided him with the information about the SBA loan programs available for small businesses on the one-year anniversary of the passage of the American Recovery Invest Reinvestment Act. He contacted my office to announce that HIT had closed on a 7A loan backed by the SBA with a community bank, community bank that participated in its lending programs. Knowing the success of HIT and the jobs of employees were at stake, Mr. Bedolf Grantaire worked hard to find a bank to partner with him and the SBA to meet the company's needs. As a result of his perseverance and the continued efforts of Congress and this administration to support America's small businesses, he now reports that HIT will hire additional support as their SBA guaranteed 7A loan has given them the confidence in knowing that they can continue to grow. And at the same time, the SBA's lending volume has dropped to less than half of what it was prior to the recession uh, setting in at the end of 2007. This occurred. Moreover, small businesses are finding affordable credit difficult to come by. More than 40% of small businesses have credit limits put on their company credit cards, and 63% have experienced an interest rate increase on their card. I believe we have to do more to remove the barriers to success our nation's small businesses face. We should either ensure we should ensure continued access to capital for these vitally important entrepreneurs by increasing SBA lim lending limits and improving terms with community banks to encourage investment in small businesses. And in closing, I think it's important to note, Madam Chair, that over the past decade, small businesses create as much as 80% of new American jobs. And I wish you, sir, continued success, and thank you for being part of the great entrepreneurial engine that powers this wonderful nation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the committee as well for this opportunity and to the other panelists for sharing their stories. They're familiar and comforting as well. <laughs> um, I started HIT about six years ago. Um, I was the only employee. I did all the work, managed, went to the hospitals. Um, what we do at HIT in both companies is we go into hospitals and we help them implement software, improve patient workflow, uh, and redesign their departments. Um, I wanted to start a company that was dedicated to improving healthcare through the use of information technology. Um, started out doing only services, so that did not require a lot of initial startup capital. So we were lucky in that aspect. Um, I was able to fund uh, the company with a little bit of my savings and just continue to grow as we receive more business. Um, it did require an, an enormous risk um, because I left a stable job and a well-paying job and the patience of my wife while, like a lot of other people have said, uh, I was working 20-hour days, so she was taking care of the kids in the house and all the errands and all that stuff. So um, we had to work very hard to attract our clients, build a solid reputation, and we had to find the right employees. We had to find employees who want, wanted to share in our vision and also who could accept the risk of working for a small startup company. So um, we got lucky and found uh, a good group of employees and we've continued to be able to do that. Um, <clears throat> not long after we started the services industry, the start services company, uh, we actually became a leading partner of Siemens, which is the number, which is one of the top three largest global healthcare uh, companies in the world. Um, and three years after inception, like Congressman Sestak said, we became um, the 21st fastest growing company in the Philadelphia region, as ranked by Philly 100, which is part of the Wharton School. So, and then in 2009, we were the 42nd company. So, um, through our work in hospitals, 
in the United States and Canada, we saw a need for better communication of critical test results. So that kind of led us to a new path. We started to develop our own software. That requires a very different type of funding. Um, you need a lot of upfront capital with the hope that you have some revenue coming in down the road. So I liquidated a lot of my retirement savings, which I'm sure is not uncommon. Um, and we partnered with a small community bank after some failures with large banks. <clears throat> um, that got us to a certain point. And then as Congressman Sestak said, we uh, tapped into the SBA program. That was a pretty long process for us until we found the right bank. And I think it was a long process because um, the banks that we looked at initially weren't well educated on the SBA program. Um, once we found the right bank, Conestoga Bank, who had an SBA team, um, including Morgan Johns, the program worked really well for us. We had to provide a lot of initial paperwork, um, but they, they, the bank, and Morgan and his team took care of most of the process. And that got us to where we are today, which is on the precipice of um, a lot of work coming in, um, and also with that, the need for more capital. Um, so we find it important to balance uh, equity and debt, so we'll probably look to get a little bit more investment. Um, we also have received some investment for friends and family, about 1.5 million to this point. So we're at the point where we need to grow. We can grow, we have the work that we need employees. We just need to find the capital and the funding uh, to support our growth. Thank you.